Hi there, it's Jan here and welcome to the next episode of my tennis podcast. And today I'm um, going to talk about a very important subject and that is how to improve your cardio off the tennis court. So I'm going to tell you again one of my personal stories. When I was a, when I was a kid, junior, junior player back in my club in a Spartak Ilava in Czech Republic. We had uh, we had uh, two to three groups of uh, pretty good, uh, had a really really decent uh, level players uh, around me. Basically, so we were all kind of growing up together, and uh, I think it was like seven or eight players at kind of very similar level. Most of us were top 100 in the country. Uh, some of us top 50, and uh, it was a really really special times back then. And uh, <laughs> every time I look back, I just uh, I wish I could go back to those training days and. Uh, to those times it was just fantastic, uh, this is back in the 90s and uh, uh, it was pretty special for me. Very thankful to be growing up there with so, so many great coaches and everything but anyway let's get to the subject of uh, today's podcast. Uh, as you know uh, we are still not able really to be fully training on the course. I'm hopefully getting on the course again by end of this week or hopefully next week. So, But uh, what we can do is we can really work on our fitness. As long as you can uh, have access already outside. I'm already outside here walking on the beach right now. So I just thought I'm going to share with you something about the cardio, about uh, what really uh, did did strike me when I was about 19 years old when I moved to London. And uh, basically what was happening in London is that I entered a tennis club. And even after the first six months of not really touching a tennis racket, you know, when I, when I moved to London, the uh, first six months I was out of money. I had no time to play, so I was just kind of looking for some job and stuff. And then slowly, slowly, I got back again into tennis, of, of, of course, you know, <laughs> because this is what I love the most, and just to be on court. And I remember, even after those six months of doing nothing, I was in a tennis club, and I was playing against somebody, and, uh, and one of the local coaches there came to me and said, Jan, wow, you have such a great cardio, like, you never get tired, and it's just, like, so fast, and all this and that. How is that? And, uh, and I started to think, like, how is that? It's true, how is that? Like, okay, I spent hours and hours of training on the court and all this, but it's true that there was always a bit of difference between between me and uh, and the players on the court. Uh, for example, I always look back when I was about 12 to 13 to 14 years old, and uh, I was playing those matches, you know, the league matches and club matches and uh, and tournaments. And uh, one of the main reasons why why I was always uh, a bit ahead of some players, not you know, not against all of them, but. Uh, uh, I was doing pretty well on some tournaments as a junior, really well, and uh, I was always thinking like why I was so fast and why I had such a cardio. I, I literally I never got tired on the tennis court and I was a kid and uh, I always remember uh, a lot of my matches, especially the league matches I was playing, like 6-1, 6-2, 6-3, 6-1, 6 love 6 one like really fast, like I was just out hitting the players straight away and uh, I was just so much faster and uh, I was just, uh, I don't know, I was, I was like really I was very fit uh, as, as, as a kid, I have to say. Like, and, but I was always thinking, like, why? Because I never, I was never doing any gym and anything. I was just training. But there is one thing that I was doing that I think not majority of the players I used to compete against were doing, and that is the bicycle. Okay. I literally spent my childhood on the bicycle. Now, what I want to say with this is this. I was going to school on bicycle, not always, but a lot of times, because after the school I had to go back to the tennis course and it was the fastest way how to get to the tennis club, on the bicycle. Uh, I would be going on the bicycle all around the town, I would be going bicycle shopping, I would be going bicycle after tennis, before tennis. Basically, I, I was always on the bicycle. I was always riding a bike, <laughs> all the time. And we were going crazy, we were going nuts around the town, we were going between the cars and stuff. And I remember even after tennis, after the afternoon sessions with my with my pals back then, with my friends from the tennis club, we were going like for the for long, long, you know, long rides on the, on the bike around the town or in the parks or in the forest and stuff. But we were always on the bicycles all the time. And I think this is the number one key. This is the number one reason why I was so good when it comes to cardio, when it comes to the movement, when it comes to that strength in the legs. I was always so strong. I never got tired. Uh, uh, you know. On, on the court really uh, unless I was playing somebody like really good like somebody in top 10 or something then of course you know then then I would uh, eventually struggle but uh, if I was playing against players in top 50 it was always I was either winning or losing three sets or, or kind of very 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 equal in the way very very same level and uh, 
So I think this was kind of the one of the few reasons what separated me back then from from the crowd also, because I really I remember like a uh, lot of the friends, all of the other other players they were coming to do to trainings with the parents in the car and uh, you could tell like they were not so physically fit as I used to be already back then. I was never like muscled. I was always pretty slim, skinny, but I was super fit. I was always so strong. Like uh, you know. I was, I was not really going for runnings, but I think the reason uh, for that was really the bicycle when I look, look back at it. And then when I was 19 in the club in the London, also it made me think like, yeah, I spent all my childhood on a bicycle. And then in London also, I was just always on the bike. So what I wanted to say uh, in today's podcast, if you do have a chance, if you do have a bicycle, if you don't have a problems with your knees or, you know, with some joints and stuff, go out on those bikes and use it as much as you can i'm now here in sicily i'm preparing for hopefully we're gonna go this week next week on the course again uh, but i am every day on the bicycle i do every day five to ten k's on bicycle i do bicycle as much as i can and i want to get back to that fitness level when i was as a as a kid as a junior and i think this is the i really believe this is one of the keys and uh, you really want to spend time on on those bikes and uh, it's also so much fun at the same time you know if you go like nice countryside up the hill down the hill and and uh, never forget how, how pros train and you look at it Novak Djokovic he spends loads of time on bicycle especially going up the hill so I might also shoot like a little video about some little bicycle exercises for tennis players <laughs> it's gonna be pretty simple but the main idea is just to here to encourage you to get out on those bikes if you can. Running is good, but I think bicycle is better than running. If you don't have problems with the knees and joints and stuff, yeah, don't overdo it again. But I think we're not gonna overdo it. We're not like a pros, you know, uh, the, the pro pro bike bike riders. So I don't think we're gonna brush off our knees, uh, knees, knees caps and all this. So that should be that should be safe. So this is really what I wanted to mention because I promised in this podcast I'm going to be sharing my personal stories, my personal experience throughout my whole life. I think this is my mission. I just want to help you with your tennis game and uh, every little detail like this can make a huge difference. I believe so. I believe so. Every time I look back, I'm always asking, yeah, it's true. I was like, you know, I was twice faster than the players. I saw the ball so big coming to me and I was there always before the ball even uh, passed the net. I was already the position already dictating my opponent and I was always much faster and uh, I think the bicycle is one of the keys to your tennis success. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's uh, very short story. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be adding more and more stuff as it comes, but it's been uh, really hectic over the past two months here in Italy and uh, I'm just happy to be out outside again in the countryside walking on the beach and stuff. I just did some fitness also here, some push-ups and some skipping, but, uh, but again tomorrow morning I'm going out on that bike and I'm gonna be heading up to the mountains and try to get some of those hills up under under my belt as they say so i'm gonna get up that hill and i'm gonna be so strong it's fantastic bicycle it's really great for your overall legs you know hamstrings glutes fantastic just phenomenal and uh, so i really highly recommend it to anybody and uh, yeah if you do have a chance go out on those bikes and enough talking Thanks for listening today and uh, if you did enjoy this podcast make sure to share with your tennis friends of course uh, if you're new to my channel also subscribe hit that like button and I'm gonna look forward to see you in uh, one of my sessions next time or the next episode of my podcast uh, I'm also launching soon my tennis fit application so make sure to check it out you can just hit to my site tennisfitup.com and you're gonna find all the information there we are launching really soon and I'm really excited. You're gonna find a lot of training sessions there, over 350 uh, video sessions, training tips, exercises, how to train on your own and all these things. And uh, it's just uh, my ultimate collection of everything that I've done myself as a coach and also as a player on the court over past 20 years, basically on 25 years or more now. So this is it for today. Thanks for listening and have a great day.